<gasps> Welcome back to the YouTube channel. 1969 Dodge D200 D, and as does your mom want to go on a date? If you guys have watched the last junkyard video, we spotted this truck, and you know what? Dad can't pass one of these sweat lines up without buying it. So, you know what? This thing's at home, and today we're going to do it. Will it drive 184 miles? Ah, probably not, but it'll ride on a rollback. As many of you OG subscribers have seen, we buy these trucks and we sell the parts we don't need. So that's kind of what this video is about. But we know for sure we want both doors, so you can't have those. We want the fenders, but you can have the trim. Badges will be for sale and some other stuff. But before we go through what this truck does have, this bed is loaded. So let's get these straps off and see what's in here because there's a 426 Hemi buried in here, maybe. Alright, let's get these bad boys off. See what's under here. So the guy we bought this thing from, he said you gotta take all this stuff in the back. So no big deal. Dad brought a tailgate and a tarp, so we didn't lose anything down the road. This thing's filled to the brim though. Alright, let's see what's under this thing. trash no there might be some goodies in here we'll see get your eyes in there 426 hemi supposed to be buried right right here where the x is just like this old truck very fine all right it looks a lot like trash on top but we're thinking there might be trash in here so we're gonna time lapse through here if we find anything good then we'll show you y'all put down in the comments and see if you're right about this bed floor is it going to be rusted out or not that kind of bought this bed to use it so we're hoping it's not all right an update on the cleaning so far the sides aren't in too bad shape compared to the other beds, but there is some rust holes here that are popping up. So 
not the best and it's kind of got a wave to her did just find the original spare tire there with the old bicycle lot right there it looked like they did plenty of burnouts with that one not much life in it all right intermission because the dumpster is filled and trash men won't take it if it's filled all the way up let's talk about what might be for sale got a bench seat there i don't think anybody would want that steering wheel the cluster that'll be for sale it does look like the plastic's in decent shape and not cracked uh dash pad if you're asking about that it does have one crack over there got the mirror that'd be for sale cigarette uh compartment whatever you call that we got an ignition with a key there looks like we might have some wiper armage here those are not your normal looking chrome ones but those do look like they're in decent shape we'll see if we can find another uh it does have a gas tank don't know why somebody would want that but people have asked about them so there's that got mirrors here those could be for sale which there is a full set got both sides got that one right there which you can see the shape that they're in they would clean up nicely you would be able to paint it and look good. D200 badges that have some pitting. A lot of pitting, actually. Possibly custom badges, unless Dad wants to use that on the crew cab. Looks like she was on the road in 1989 was the last time. Got this piece here, this vent that could be for sale. Got the good old antenna. Do have a lot of this trim. People seem like they're not too interested in it, but do have that if you do want some. It goes all the way down the truck. We do have other sets from other trucks could make possibly a full set for you if you wanted that we bought several other trucks so plenty of other parts too if you don't see what you want right here there's a glove box i don't think this is a true 69 it might be but i thought 69 had dodge on the glove box which this one does not here's the 69 grill she's in rough shape but if you need that as a wall hanger and you wanted to pay hundred dollars to ship it so be it there it is 75 dollars is yours we are located in missouri so if you want to drive here so be it you could do that got plenty of these straight axles got dana 60s all around a crew cab chassis for a 69 so that was a year where they didn't make them That's and so cool. it's a special frame i guess you would say where they extended it as two pieces that is for sale how much best offer got a running 318 got a couple of 727 transmissions this is a four-speed manual all kinds of goodness like look at that that's not completely dry people like those those are for your windshield washer fluid enters of these fenders got them we'll sell just these wing windows got some of them laying around as well preferably if you were a serious buyer got tons of parts got the crew cab frame 318 a 727 this four speed manual rear ends doors wing windows uh maybe even a tailgate probably not i don't think uh 16 half inch wheels fan shrouds bunch of stuff if you want to just buy it all, that'd be the preferred way and make you a good bulk deal price. Now you be, might be wondering, are you just buying this truck to part it out? Well, kinda, but not exactly. We are building a 69 Dodge D200 crew cab. If you have not seen that, that's coming swapped. And this bed right here is gonna probably go on it. It's in pretty good shape on the sides. This tail light housing's all right. This one's gonna have to be replaced. I was not looking forward to that, but he has done it. As you can see, that one is gone. The whole main reason for doing this is because the bed sides are looking decent and not super Swiss cheese. You can see, moving it there, that thing is stiff. Ain't gonna bore you anymore with that cleaning out. It just seems like someone just put their trash from their house in this truck and then drove it to the scrapyard. But there was a couple cool things. This being my favorite, it is dad's old fashioned root beer. And that's a glass bottle. Got some old Mountain Dew bottles, and it's all glass. A couple old cans, old Pepsi bottles there. Looks like they're a hard Mountain Dew Pepsi drinker. And this guy that says, uh-huh. And the coolest thing, probably this little silverware. That's for just little babies to eat. And that is metal. All right, this isn't like our regular videos. The other ones are a little bit better, but just wanted to show you guys the plan for this truck. And if you need any swept line parts, let us know. Like I said, there's a lot more that isn't in this video. Just leave it down in the comments and we might be able to hook you up.